Hey guys, what's up? Karis here with a previously recorded video, actually. I recorded this video sometime last month in November when I was preparing to build up the strength in my hair. So this is me after I took out my braids and I was preparing for my wash day and I wanted to bring some protein back. You guys may remember a little while back I had won some products from the Tropic Isle Living brand that makes the Jamaican black castor oil. You guys know I love them. I wrote a blog post on them and I was recognized for my testimonials. So I won some products from them and I went ahead and I used my new products bringing protein back into my hair with the Tropic Isle Living. So if you guys are interested in that process, definitely stay tuned to this video. Now, for starters, the first night I went in with my applicator bottle of Jamaican black castor oil and I went in and applied that throughout the roots of my hair and just let that soak in to my scalp basically. And I just put a, stock, a plastic shower cap over it and then my bonnet and then I went to bed. No worries, that's easy breezy. And I'm using this as a pre proof treatment strong roots red pimento hair growth oil. And that also has black castor oil in it. And I went and put that in my roots. This, they tell you to concentrate this into your roots and massage it into your scalp. I just massage that into my scalp there. Jamaican, I'm also applying the black castor oil deep conditioner that they supplied me with. And... I'm applying that from the ends of my hairs going towards the roots, but I'm not actually concentrating this into my roots, being that I put the pimento oil in between the roots. But I'm just going in between little sections of my hair, making sure that that conditioner is all throughout my hair. And this conditioner smells like they just cracked open some eggs and threw it in a freaking jar. Like this stuff really, really smells, but it did a good job at making my hair really, really strong. I actually felt a difference in my hair. So that's why I actually went through this process twice before I actually went ahead and did my relaxer. So I knew it was doing the job, but I'm telling you, it really does smell. So beware of that because as soon as I cracked it open, I was like, yo, really? <laughs> so just work that into all your small sections and still do some uh, finger detangling. You want to do that as gently as possible. So I, that's why I prefer to finger detangle because that way I can feel how much tension needs to be applied as I run my fingers through my hair. So that way it reduces a lot of shedding and tangling. You know, when you pull with a comb, you're ripping your hair out. And no, that's not a good look. So I like to use my fingers as much as possible. So anyway, now on to the shampooing. In the shower, I went ahead and with my Herbal Essences shampoo, it's the two-in-one conditioner, so shampoo and conditioner in one, and I also went ahead and used my Cream of Nature Straight from Eden conditioner that I use. I do like that conditioner a lot as well. So I went ahead with that, and I rinsed that out in the shower, and after I got out the shower, now you're going to see my deep condition treatment that I did and I'm just bringing some more moisture back because I like to do that pH balance with the protein and moisture. So I'm just going in and I'm going to do a little mixture of my Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner, the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Conditioner. That stuff is the truth. I love that conditioner as well as more of that Lavender Tropic Our Living Lavender Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I had just took out my braids, ran the Jamaican Black Castor Oil right through my hair. And the only difference is this time I'm using the Lavender Jamaican Black Castor Oil that they sent me. I usually get the regular Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this lavender one, it actually smells a little bit better. I wouldn't say it smells great, but, you know, it's not as strong as the other one. But Another difference that I noticed with the lavender is when I took off my shower cap, it felt like my hair was like really, really moisturized. So that lavender definitely brought some moisture into my hair. It almost felt a little damp. Like I was like, oh, sweat. My, I really felt the difference in my hair. So I um, linked the blog post of when I started my hair journey. My hair was how I trimmed it and where I started from back two years ago now 
And you can see the difference in my hair now. So we're making progress, guys, slowly but surely. But now after rinsing out that conditioner mixture, I go in with the leave-in conditioner that the Tropic I Live In has. And it's a leave-in conditioner and detangler. I'm using it all in one. And I'm going ahead and detangling my hair with a wide tooth comb this time and make sure your comb is a wide tooth comb please because those little small combs don't do nothing but just snag your hair so um going in with some amazing coconut oil is the title of the blog post but I want to um rephrase that because now in the winter time that stuff doesn't um it's not as oily as it was so you see chunks of white stuff in your hair no matter how much you rub it it just ends up with chunks of stuff in your hair. So it's not so good of a choice of oil for the winter time. I'm looking into actually trying some like grape seed oil or a different kind of oil that I want to use during the winter time because that stuff is really getting on my nerves. Um, actually, lately, since I just relaxed my hair, I've been using the um packet of the Cream of Nature oil that comes in with it, the uh, Cream of Nature Straight from Eden. I've been using that oil since I've relaxed my hair. And remember, last time I relaxed it, I didn't use that oil. So I'm going to find the other sample of relax of that oil, and I'm going to use that as well. And that'll be my oil of choice for now, because coconut oil is not cutting it for me, which that's a no-go. So we're going to have to get a new oil. But anyway, just doing the same thing on the other side. I went ahead and sprayed the leave-in conditioner, and I'm detangling with my wide tooth comb, showing you guys how much hair came out, going in with that coconut oil. And you guys can see the white stuff in my hair that I was just talking about, but it's all good. Just um, going in with the Elastic QP moisturizer and putting that in my hair as well. You guys know I live for that moisturizer. I have a blog post on that as well. I'll leave that down below. And just going through my hair with all that. And braiding in the other side. I just rocked these two braids for a couple of days. And then after that, I basically just put a wig on top with the same two braids, nice and easy, like, it's multi-purpose, I can rock my own hair, and then when those braids get tired, I may take it out every now and then, and redo the braids, and it just makes it easy for me to go in and moisturize my hair with these two braids without having to do too much strain on my hair. So that concludes my wash day with Tropic Out Living products, and bringing protein back into my hair. I want to thank Tropic Olive and again, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video. Stay blessed guys.